on, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tuesday morning, a little before 8 o'clock, heading to my first service call of the day in Rockville Center. We have a new client. They have air conditioning system leaking through ceiling. Let's go see what's going on and uh, take care of them and document the process along the way. Let's make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. There's no course or obligation. And it is actually the best way to support the channel. Let's get going. Hi, ma'am. I'm Mike. How are I'm you? I'm Barbara. Here's my card. Oh, great. Thank Hi, you Barbara. so much. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, same here. If um, in the central AC yes. is uh, that ups, it, it leaked from upstairs where the AC was in the attic. Do the, yes, too light uh, in, the, in the bathroom. Okay. They go off. Um, and my uh, a friend who had you know worked at the same. Okay. Um, there's a student who, who went up there and said, <laughs> this is my assessment, that there's some things wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> the best I can so let me ask you a question. When's the, when's the last time you had any service or maintenance done on the system? Gosh, maybe two years ago. Okay, what happened then? Was it just maintenance or something broke? It was No, it was just maintenance. Okay. It was just maintenance. How often do you normally have it done, maintenance? I don't think I have regular maintenance due. It's really any reason why not? Wrong. I didn't know you were supposed to. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. It's a good answer. It's about as good an answer as my answer about that. What was wrong up there? I got the water dripping from the light in the bathroom. I, I, so. I, 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 uh, and my handyman, um, uh, Ryan, he didn't know anybody. But okay. He went up there and. Uh, okay. Let's take a look. Lead the way, man. What's your that? Okay. Let's see. That big giant thumbtack. You know, I'm gonna use my head right there for right now. I'm gonna put that right there, and it's holding. <laughs> so now you normally put a ladder in here, and yeah, nothing else ladder. falls down. Well, not usually. Not usually. Yeah, no, you think I'm gonna get so lucky? It's going As to the be previous lucky. guy. Yes, you're gonna be. It's it's okay. it's gonna well, be let's go get the ladder. You can see how how. Now and we'll actually finish. Let's go find the ladder. Yeah, if we yeah. empty out if we empty out that one shelf, I'd be uh, more happier. It was just the bathroom was dripping from? Yes. Oh yeah, there's the light. I see the light. It's falling down. Uh, never a dull moment. <laughs> the joys of homage. Speaking of Tuscany, you know what I found? Because now I got the bug in my head, right? Yeah. For 400,000 euro, okay. which is about 40, 450,000 US dollars, right? Take a wild guess what you can buy in the hills of Tuscany. Take a wild guess. For that long, Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Which is probably a quarter of the value of this house, by the way. So what, imagine we well, imagine what four hundred thousand euro buying. I, I, I have an idea. So that's about how much money in dollars? That's uh, let's say five hundred thousand dollars, half a million bucks. What do you think you can buy? A, a two story house, maybe. Yeah, okay. you can get a house that is centuries old, right? On a few acres, 
right? With the pool, five bedrooms, four baths, a barn. Five bedrooms. <laughs> a barn for horses. Uh, uh, well, horses or maybe something else, with animals, but a barn, yes. 400,000 euros, it's crazy. Now don't get me wrong, there's also things you can buy for like five million that are like, will blow your mind, but you know, it's... <laughs> I'm easy to fit a stable. <laughs> it must be an Asquarian, Asquarian? That was called, like horses? Hmm? Like horses? No? Horses involved, um, passionate riding. I hear you. <laughs> My daughter is a uh, Western. Can I, uh... Yeah, I don't think I know... Let me help you with that. I'll, I'll try to get to oh, that. Oh, sure, then if you need help, I'll do it. Get out. The shelf is gone. Alright, now. Now it makes sense to put this in there like that. Okay, up I go. Oh, Maybe at the end, eh, we'll see. This is insane that this is the only attic. Access to the attic. There's one in the garage. Is that the same attic? Uh, Probably not. <laughs> the problem is, I'll be up here, but I don't think I'll be able to get out. So there's your unit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How the hell they get this in here? What? Yeah. All right. So I see your new unit, which is here. Okay. And I see the drain pan that they gave you, which is way too small for the, for the unit. And all right. I see the drain. I see the trap that connects to that black piping there. And then it goes out. So we're gonna to try to blow out this drain line. I'm gonna get a, uh... what's that? Yeah, that's okay. All right, if we cut that, I can blow that out, put a coupling there and call it a day for now. <laughs> this is literally hilarious. I'm stuck in here. Uh, uh. Hundred fifteen volt, two ton, and the pan. Well, pan is dry. All the way down there, we have an air handler with heat strips on it. There's a. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, come on, really? cleaning. Wow, look at all the growth. Damn. <sighs> this is what I'm working with here. 
drain cleaning Whew. we need to schedule some maintenance here and we need a, a drain pan that actually fits under this thing Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. Keeping it real, uncut, unedited, raw. If you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area and you're tired of dealing with a mediocre company for your plumbing, heating, or air conditioning needs, give me a call at 516-348-6300. My name is Mike Dyke. I'm a licensed HVAC contractor and master plumber, not only in New York, but South Carolina and Florida. So if you're in Central Florida, Orlando region, stop dealing with those hacks in Florida. They're bums, trust me. Give me a call at 407-375-1100 and I would love to help you with your HVAC needs in Central Florida. I service between Daytona Beach and Claremont. Give me a call, pick up the phone now.